Welcome to another video. Shouts out to Notification Gang. Let's get into this WNBA All-Star Game selections. And let's talk about the people or one person who I think shouldn't be in there and one of two people that should. And who I think should not be on the All-Star team is Chicago Sky Guard Courtney Vandersloot. We already got two other Sky members on the team. She doesn't need to be on the squad. I'm sorry. She doesn't. She doesn't play no defense. Come on now. This is the two people, one of the two which I think should have got that spot. We talking Natasha Cloud from the Mystics. She gave you 11. She leading the league in assists, 7.3. And she going to play both ends of the court. She going to D up. She going to do what she got to do on defense. And she give you seven assists. Courtney Vandersloot's only, only giving you 12 and six assists, which is not bad, six assists. But she not giving you that defense like Natasha Cloud giving you. Or you can go Kelsey Mitchell. Kelsey Mitchell giving you 19 a game with four assists. Even though the Indiana Fever hasn't had the season that they maybe expected, she still give you 19 a game. She's handling her business. She just needs help. So one of those two players definitely should take Courtney Vandersloot spot. Me personally, I say give it to Natasha Cloud because the Mystics are in the playoff run and she's leading the league in assists. Like, that's huge. And you playing defense and you giving, giving us 11 a game? Come on now. That's the biggest snub of the All-Star game to me. She needs to be on the team. She needs to be playing in the All-Star game. And it's the same that she's going to have to be at home while somebody like Courtney Vandersloot gets to experience the All-Star festivities. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'm out.